Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this is a video series I've been talking about for a little while now and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off and I think it's time that I finally do it. <laughs> so as some of you know, I live in Japan and I've been here for, I don't know, seven or eight years now, over eight years I think, and I just haven't studied Japanese enough and so in this series I want to motivate myself to study Japanese more so I figured why not you know try to make some videos and I can learn and you can learn and everybody can learn and it'll be fun so we're gonna start off by learning hiragana and hiragana is kinda of the what can I say the base of learning Japanese I guess you know, there are three different writing forms in Japanese. There's hiragana, katakana, and kanji. And Japanese uses all three writing systems to communicate writtenly. So, but I think hiragana is the most important to learn first, of course. Kanji comes later. So, anyways, we're going to be starting with just the first five Hiragana. Um, so the first one is A. Alright, so it's pretty simple to write, but my writing is not perfect, so do your best to imitate me. Alright, so I'll do it right here. So we're going to go from left to right. We're going to go across, go down, and then we're going to go around, like that. That is A. And it's pronounced uh, always uh. Okay. And by the way, I'm using a brush and ink for this. You could use a pen and paper if you want, but I'm just using this because it looks cool and it gives me practice for writing. So we're going to try it again. We're going to go across, down, and around. Oh, see, that one's not too good. <laughs> My brush split open a little bit, but that's all right. I'm learning too. We're going to learn this together. So, of course, I've been studying Japanese for on and off for many years. So I already know the basis of it, but I really need to practice again. So, you know, in this digital age, we forget how to write a lot. So let's go ahead and try it again. All right, so we're going to go across down and around. That's not too bad. I think this one was the best, but you know, got to keep practicing. Let's do a couple more real quick. Okay. And go across, down, and around. Oh, that one's pretty good. Kind of a little too long there, maybe, but that's all right. It's still legible. Okay, we'll do two more real quick. Down, or across, down, and around. So across, down, oh, running out of ink, and around. All right, there we go. So that is ah. So let's go ahead and change papers. Okay. So, Japanese is based on five vowels, a, e, u, a, o, the first one being a. Okay. So next comes e. So let me go ahead and get more ink on my brush, and e is pretty simple compared to a, but it's still a little tricky to get it to look really nice. So we're just going to go down and up a little, and then down again. Yeah, that, that looks all right, I guess. And go down and up a little, and down again. Oh, that one's not too good. <laughs> but I am not sitting properly. It's hard to do this behind a camera. So 
we're going to go down and up and down, down and up and down, down and up and down. Oh, that one's not good at all. I think the first one was the best, but it looks okay. All right, so that's E. Okay, and of course you need to practice over and over and over again and, you know, until you get it memorized and whatnot. But, you know, here's just a few samples for you. And it's good practice for me, too, right? So next... Oh. I can't get my paper. There we go. Next, we're going to be doing... Ooh. Oh, I think I need more ink. So let me show you how I'm doing this. So I'm doing, I'm not using regular ink. I'm making my own ink. Uh, I forget the Japanese word. I, I was practicing before. When I was making this video, when I was planning to make this video series before, I was practicing the Japanese to, you know, try to explain this better. But I don't remember right now. But you just, you have this, like, block of ink, a little bit of water, and you just kind of grind it away. And here I am making ink. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think that's enough. All right. So next comes ooh. Ooh is not too bad, but it can be a little tricky as well. But you just have to practice, 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 practice. Let's go ahead and line up our paper a little better. All right, so it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go like that. Mm, that's okay, a little bit too thick, I think, but it looks all right. There you go. All right, so we're gonna go across and around like that. That's ooh. Okay, we're going to go. So I, I'm new to this myself. I don't really know how I should be holding the brush. Like, there are special techniques and there's schools. Actually, I think there's a school just down the street from my apartment that I could probably go and get lessons. But I, I want to try this on my own for a little while, see what I can learn. Well, that one's not too bad. I think. Ooh, there we go. So that's ooh. So we've done a, e, u, a. Oh no, a, e, u. Next is a. So let me get my paper here. One more paper. All right. There we go. So. A is also a little bit difficult. All right. So I had to pause the camera there for a second. I had to get more paper. <laughs> but you didn't know that. To you, it seems seamless, but that's all right. So anyways, next we're going to be doing A. So eh. This one's also a little bit difficult. But we're going to go like that. Cross, down, and around. And, ooh, that one looks really good, I think. I like that one. But it's one motion. We're not going to lift up our pen or brush or whatever you're using at all. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. I like that one. Let's go ahead and try that again. Ooh, that one's okay, but I'm... At a weird camera angle or standing at a weird angle because of my camera okay well not too bad that's okay and last one. Oh, that one was okay that looks okay that's eh so we've done a, e, u, e. And the last one of the five vowels is o. Now o is also a little simple to do, but again, kind of difficult. 
for me, O is a little difficult. It's a weird, what can I say, like round thing. <laughs> so for O, it's going to be lots of one motions. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from left to right. We're going to go across, and we're going to go down and around and then make like a little dash at the top. That looks okay actually. Not too bad. Okay. Let's try it again. So across, down and around, and a little top. Uh, see my brush split. That's okay. As I said, we're learning together. It's not a problem. You know, we'll, as we practice, we will improve, right? Go across, down and around in one motion, and then a little dash at the top. Uh oh, I'm running out of ink again. That's okay. We'll keep going. Okay, we're going to go down and around, or across, down and around, and a little dash. Okay, well, I think I have enough ink to finish these last two, I think. Mm, that's okay. That round motto shape is difficult for me. I haven't practiced enough. This last one, we're gonna go across, down and around, and a hat. A hat, a dash. <laughs> All right, so anyways, that is a, e, u, a, o. And that is the beginning basis for learning hiragana. Um, next time, we'll be focusing on more of the sounds. No. <laughs> more of the, uh, not letters, but hiragana. <laughs> next, we'll be doing, uh, what, kakiku keiko, I think. So stay tuned for the next video, and... Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.